Welcome to Top 5 Explosion, your one-stop show for the top of the top in a video game universe. On a two-dimensional plane, that's how real men do it. No sissy sidesteps here. Ducking, jumping, and blocking, with the occasional parry are the tools of survival in these parts. In this episode of Top 5, we explore the 2D fighters that harness the definition of awesome. What the fuck? Number 5. Killer Instinct Look at this uber beast of a thousand ways to wreck anus. Rare's Killer Instinct hit arcades with its sleek ass look rocking everything the 90s did fashionably wrong. In that was pure sexy gold. This bitch was out of the box unique. You didn't get rounds, you got double life bars. If imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, then this smitten bitch is fawning over Mortal Kombat's fatalities. The real meat and potatoes of the KI series was their combo system. There is nothing more gratifying than whooping someone's ass with a 98 hit ultra combo, or causing them to raise by breaking any combo they're trying to execute. Number 4, Guilty Gear. Look at this butastic high res sprite based guilty gift from the gods. To be honest, I don't even know what the hell Guilty Gear means, and it doesn't matter, this game is Japanese as f this cream rose to the top as a cult hit. The masses just didn't get it, but that's okay, the masses don't know a damn thing anyway. And they missed out on a sweet metal soundtrack to thump face to. Also, any game that allows you to play as a tranny ladyboy in religious garb should be worshipped. Guilty Gear Underdog rocked its way to all sorts of gaming platforms, like the Wonderswan. Number 3, King of Fighters. Hey you two-ton bag of bollocks, you bow when in the presence of royalty. This divine right boasting bastard has been walking on flower petals since 1994 and doesn't know how to slow the hell down and smell the blood on the roses. Awesome was what this series brought to the table. Team battles, three chances to redeem yourself from the stinging glutes you obtained in the previous rounds. Littered with an all-star SNK cast from Fatal Fury to Art of Fighting to Akari Warriors, the roster of this filled to the brim bitch was astounding. King of Fighters was such a threat that Capcom eventually called the game's developer SNK out to battle. The darkest days of this game? The King of Fighters movie. Number 2. Mortal Kombat Bitch, get a mop because it's about to get bloody on the murder floor. You want to know the key to success? Controversy. The only thing that could have made the parents of 1992 any more angry is if the soundtrack was pure thugging ass gangster rap. The perfect incorporation of rendered live action actors and blood and violence followed up with a chance to absolutely ruin your opponent's existence with excitingly gruesome fatalities. There is a lot this bastard did right, like ninjas, tons of ninjas, with powers, everybody loves a ninja, but super ninjas, then super robot ninjas? I, I just, I just can't. Number 1, Street Fighter. Hold on to your ankles and spread them because we're about to get downright fierce. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you what is considered to be the greatest fighting game franchise of all time. It's almost really just not okay how many versions, renditions, and sequels this game has had during the course of the last three decades. If this f***er were a Pokemon, it'd be Eevee. Look at all those damn evolutions. Its ever-growing roster and improving fight system made sure it stayed top dog in its genre. Anyone that came close to touching it was called out by Capcom in a fight to the death. If we've learned anything from the Street Fighter franchise, it's that there's going to be a lot of punching and kicking, even if that means kicking a dead horse. Eventually, you'll find success. Well, that's it for this episode of Top 5. Are there games that you think should be on this list? Well, then subscribe up top and comment below. And always remember, it's not very effective blocking foot and fists with face.